So these, I just let the uh, chickens out of the out of there. That red one, he's been in with the hens for about a week now, and that black one has been away for a long, long time. But that black one used to be the the big daddy over here. So I've just let him out, and uh, looks like the black one's going to win. But we'll see. Last time I had two roosters have a fight, a spur killed the other one. But I want to get rid of the black one. I'm just going to we'll see who wins first. And I'll, then I'll get rid of the black one. Because the black one's a, a wild one, and the red one's a half cast. So. Whoa, okay, two in one. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen the other red one fight. Yeah. <laughs> ah, two on one, the black one's like, okay. So those two are brothers. And now uh, they're going under the container. Black one's gone, I can't handle both of you because the black one's getting tired. Every time. Yep, black one's gone. Across the road. Yep. No, that's fine. Okay. These two are the boss around here now. I got rid of a black one already. A wild uh, Two wild chickens. Three in total. Roosters. Now these are the, the big boys around here now. And these are half cast, so let that be. Because I want to breed um, some more chicklings to get uh, a few more hens. But um, yeah, so that'll be cool. So I'll just let the hens out. I've only got 14 left. And uh, I've got a half cast chicken over there. It's got babies. It's got three little babies. It's in the, in the cage at the moment. She just went in there by herself because I had coconut in there. She can get out of there as well. So she's fine. But yeah. I'm not too sure. Her baby should be good for laying here, laying eggs, but we'll see. Alright guys, bye for now. Here I'm just uh, squeezing some coconut cream for our haka and some fish with some belly also here I'm just uh, getting some uh, fish and scaling them and that's going to be for our dinner I caught these fish I think about a week ago so yeah enjoy here I'm just spraying the boundary Got uh, my gum boots on, fully clothed, and uh, just making sure that I don't get uh, any spray on me. Uh, the wind over here was a little bit um, awkward because it was coming from all, all different directions that were changing a lot. So I was just uh, making sure that I was spraying correctly. I did end up. Uh, inhaling a little bit of spray because of the wind direction changing now and again but with the boundaries it's fine uh i i, I won't be able to inhale it because it's low to the ground but when i uh, spray on top of uh, weeds that are very high that's when it gets a bit dangerous So this is what it looks like trying to plow on one side of it. Hmm, interesting.
we'll see. I'll do these rows like this. Yeah. Uh, still thinking, guys. Unless I just play out the whole lot. But we'll see. So. Just gonna plow it all. Plow the whole lot. Tried. Doesn't get close enough. And throw the dirt on. And if we get a, what do you call it? A, a mounder that mounds it on there. Um, tractor will have to go, I have to cut it short. And then also, we'll have to go quite a few times. And the soil needs to be ploughed before we can do that anyway, so, yeah. All right, we'll just do what we can, but I think it's just plough and replant. All right, guys, I, was, I just cut these down and I was just gonna mound them, but because of the concrete, there's a concrete pole here, there. But now it doesn't really matter with the tractor, so the tractor's actually pulling them out, so that's good. So I reckon just replow the whole lot and start. We've uh, tried a different way. Got him to run the tire, the front tire on this side, and then the plow's able to get a lot closer and then pull the dirt in. So we'll see. We've only got a few rows to do, so of that, but all down there we'll just plow the whole lot. But these ones here, we'll see. Yeah, looks like it's actually doing it. All right, cool. Hey there, guys. So, photos finally come around, plowing it all up. Beautiful, doing an awesome job. Look at that. I'll get him to run up along the sides and up along that side as well. Let's get that all sorted. Beauty. Soil looks really good now. Looks awesome. See the there's a big concrete in there. It's not bad, eh? So this is what I told him to do. Throw it on the inside, make it nice and straight. Yeah. Thanks for do. Star one. All right guys, day to plant today. Just been plowed again. Gonna run string lines down. Start from the fence. So the fence is my guide and then work my way up. Um, string, two poles, to go from one end to another. Oh, that's uh, just from the electric fence, two poles. Um, if the soil's a little bit hard in certain places, I'll drill it and then put one of the fig trees in. So I've just cut these up from top or from my fig trees because they're nice and young. And those are the fig uh, plants you should be uh, should be using. I should leave it for a couple of days so um, the ends dry off a bit. But the moon is getting stronger by the end of the month. It's the 17th today, so we should do well. I'll plant these... Uh, Pine trees, carry trees as well. Get those in today. I've got a few up there as well that I need to plant that I pulled out before we ploughed. And um, yeah, so hopefully this will do well. So this is the start of the vanilla. We'll do this all over again. Hopefully, not hopefully, this will do well. This will do a lot better than what it was. The soil is really good. Uh, we ploughed it yesterday, so it's still nice and moist. Um, yeah, it's 
great great soil um, so I think that's all it needed to, to happen is to turn it over so we can um, replant again alright guys get the fig trees in then the vanilla will be next alright guys bye for now his wifey mowing down there she mowed on the other side of the fence all along the front front of the fence I'm planting fig trees over here just to show you what I'm doing um, this is going to be a road area so that's why I made a bit um, larger from the fence so I'll take those figgies out just planted these planting two figgies fig trees these are two meters apart from there to there um, and then two and a half meters apart from each row so I should get around about 21 rows all up, up there, I already measured it all, and just uh, string lined it, and plant on each side of the string, and then I'll measure this and plant that one, but I'm just going to move the string over now, to that side, measure it, make sure I've got the straight line, then that's it for me today, tomorrow I'll have to carry on, I've got to go to town, and do some stuff in town, it's uh, half past one now in the afternoon we'll see if I can have some time later on this after late late this afternoon and plant some more but I've run out of fig trees on my fig trees that I've um, these are all from my fig trees that are my vanilla from my vanilla so they're nice and uh, the young vanilla uh, plants and so they should grow quite well and then I gotta um, scrounge around other places to get some fig trees. That's okay. I'll get it. So I'm gonna get all this done, hopefully, by the end of next week. But if I can do like two rows a day, beautiful. Just gotta find the figs. But yeah. So around about 20 to 19 plant, 19. So around about 400 to 450 vanilla all in here. If I plant only one, but I'm gonna plant two vanillas on each one, so you can double it if you want, if you think like that, but we'll plant two, two vanilla on each one, if we can. If not, I'll loop them if I have extra long vanilla cuttings, but we'll see. Cool. All right, guys. Bye for now. So got another two rows done, and I think I'll get another. Oh, another one's lined out already. So four rows and one's lined out, so that'll be five. Hopefully this afternoon I can um, come back down and um, put that last row in. All right. 